Hello everyone, David Giglio here with Ozone Engineering and in this video I will show you how to use Ansys MotorCAD to model, simulate, analyze and post process results to evaluate motor performance to help you choose to optimize motor design to achieve cost, effective, cost effectiveness and efficiency. MotorCAD has four physics modules. Electromagnetics contains eight motor designs to choose from, nine motors to choose from for the thermal modules um, of the physics five motors to choose from for the design of experiments using the lab module and allows you to develop torque speed curves and efficiency maps and the mechanical physics module um, contains eight motors to choose from all the motors you see here highlighted in the purple um, are available in the design of experiments for the lab okay as mentioned we have four physics models to choose from um, we will start with the electromagnetics module. So in the, in the electromagnetics module, all the tabs are highlighted in blue. So here is a geometry tab. We see a radial view of the geometry. And on the left side are the panels to input the stated parameters and the rotor parameters. So changing any of these parameters will update the geometry in, in, in the model. And we can look at the radial view, axial view, 3D view. And for the winding, we can look at the radial pattern and we can see the number of throws of the winding, the winding layers. And this is the coil view. We can look at the slot view and we can look at the linear pattern and which um, will allow um, motor designers to export this design and to be used in a machine for manufacturing the motor. And we can look at all the phases. We look at single phases. We can look at the phaser diagram. MMF um, plot, harmonics, and the fact associated factors. And we could look at the winding definition. We can choose a hairpin, stranded um, coils, overlapping, or choose the, these different options you see here. And we, for the wedge model, we could choose wedge, wound space, or air. Um, we need to choose an, uh, and configure the wire selection um, settings for the dimensions. And in the bottom here in the middle, we see the output parameters for the winding. And what you see um, for the winding setup is similar to what you would see for the other physics, including the thermal and the geometry. And for each physics, we have um, material definitions that we need to set up. And for each physics, has this um, rel relevant um, physics parameters to, to to apply. So for the electromagnetics module, we see electric, electrical resistivity, temperature coefficient for electrical resistivity, etc. And for the other physics, you will see other relevant information. And for the calculation, we need to set up the drive, um, the winding connections, magnetization, temperatures. Um, we set a fixed temperature for the, um, so as a starting point temperature in, in a you know, multi-physics coupling simulation or a fixed temperature for a non-coupled sim um, simulation. So we could choose here non-coupling um, electromagnetic losses to thermal to, to compute the new temperature in thermal and then from thermal obtain the new temperature in e-magnetic to obtain the new losses or we could choose to iterate back and forth and to reconverge into a solution. This is um, a two-way coupling um, simulation. And we could choose a screw for the state of rotor or choose none. Um, choose various parameter, parameter tests, um, performance tests, open circuit, unload parameters, um, self and neutral inductance, etc. We can solve the model it's real quick, doesn't take too long, less than a minute, we'll get results. So it, that, that also depends on how many um, results for the output we're selecting. So the less results for the output, the quicker it, it will simulate. And also whether we're doing a, a no coupling or if we're doing coupling. So obviously with coupling it will take a little longer. However, not many, not that long, not many minutes. It's not hours, it's a few minutes. Um, it could be one minute, it could be three minutes, five minutes, it's probably the most, the worst case, maybe 15 minutes. Um, all right, so let's, let's wait for this. So we have other tabs to look at. So, so each physics, will have like common general tabs and 
you know, settings, and then also had each visit had its own individual, like unique um, tabs and information to settings to configure. So now we look at the the results. So we can look at the flux density, vector potential, current density, and e current density. We can see output data in tabular form. And we can see the drive tab, um, data for the e-magnetics, phases diagrams, equivalent circuit data, flux density data, loss data, winding data, other data, materials data. And for the calculations, the input data, settings, losses, general, we can set the iron losses setting. And for the laminated core iron loss calculation, we could choose the Steinmetz default model or the classical Bertardi model or the Maxwell Bertardi model. And we could choose stator or rotor for the build factor definition or choose east hysteresis or ED for the build factor definition. And we have settings for bearing losses in the e E magnetic module, wind, windage losses, and AC winding losses. Um, it could be hybrid FEA or full FEA. Hybrid FEA uses a combination of analytical and FEA models to obtain results, which is practical and realis realistic for most applications. Now, let's get into the thermal model, which it, this, this module includes the, um, the jacket of the motor for thermal cooling, um, we can look at the axial view. We can see water is forced um, inside of the jacket and flows around to um, allow thermal cooling, forced cooling, so that uh, temperature is cooled and um, temperatures do not exceed um, thermal limits. And we can look at the 3D view with the jacket and full enclosure included. We could uncheck this to, to see um, different views of the motor. And for input data, we have similar settings. Um, or for, we have similar settings, but also we have additional, like relevant settings for the thermal physics, right? So here we have stator copper loss settings, such a transit loss calculation. Um, so many settings to choose from. You know, it's not enough time to cover everything in one video. This is why it's an overview. So. In future videos, I'll do a specific video for each physics and take more time to focus on each individual tab. Right now, I'm just trying to give a quick overview. So, clicking, clicking this will you know take a few minutes to solve, but once we get the results, we can we can see the temperature um, distribution in the thermal circuit. So let's see. So here's a tr um, trending graph of the temperature plots for all objects in the motor. And you see, so the temperature overview, will, yeah, this, this will give, this is the thermal circuit using um, thermal circuit components for the conductive um, thermal resistance, radiative and convective thermal resistance, et cetera, power loss, um, heat sources, et cetera. So this thermal circuit is complete circuit of the motor, heat transfer in the model, and it'll help you um, make the um, design decisions. All right, so we can look at the radio view, axial, FEA, look at solve for this and see other results. Okay, so now, let me let me take you now to the mechanical model. So we could calculate the rotor stress. This is quick, so I'll just run it. All right, okay, we can see the mechanical stress. We could choose displacement, and we can see different results to choose from, we can see the magnitude of the result, or we can see individual components in the X, Y, or radial, or tangential, et cetera. So we have stress, strain, um, typical motor um, analysis results. And in the calculation, um, we could go to the forces tab, we could set the um, torque speed, um, torque speed curve, um, requested torque, and calculate it in the and the required speed, and then run this, and MotorCAD will calculate for you um, the torque um, as close as possible to what the requested torque is. 
and give the relative or corresponding currents in the line and the phase events. And these results can be exported to ANSYS Mechanical for full 3D mechanical analysis for the force distribution and stress and deformation results. Also, we can go to the lab module and obtain the calculation for the torque speed curve, which I'll run right now. So we could run and analyze different drive cycles, full cycle, single, single, single cycle. And here's the shaft torque versus speed curve. This is the torque speed curve profile envelope um, from which the efficiency map will be used to develop. Okay, now, it's, now we select efficiency map, calculate the magnetic performance. This will generate for us the efficiency map, will help um, motor designers um, choose designs and guide the motor designer to make decisions regarding the motor um, design parameters. So here we see that the highest efficiency for the motor occurs in this range between 2,000 and 10,000 RPM approximately, right? So that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like this video if you like it. Subscribe to our channel at Ozen Engineering. I mean, excuse me, YouTube channel, uh, Ozen YouTube channel to be stay tuned for future videos coming up. Um, visit our website at www.ozeninc.com. Um, give us a call at this number, 1-800-832-3767. Contact us to see how we can help you with consulting projects, help you with um, receiving training of how to use ANSYS tools. We provide um, training and mentoring service. Or call us, contact us if you would like for us to provide provide you with a demo or, demo or presentation of our ANSYS tools to, to show you how they can be used to help you achieve your technological goals and help you achieve cost effectiveness, save money um, in your projects. All right. Thank you very much and take care.